Jazz is probably, for me, the first world music. If you look at um, Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker playing with Machito, those are acts of world music. Or Stan Getz playing with Brazilian musicians. My um, definition tends to be broader than you know, people like uh, Wynton Marsalis and Stanley Crouch who tend to want to make it, it's one beat and it's one style of playing. So I, I don't really have that. Sort of like I think of my solo as a bridge between where I'm, where the song is coming from, and where it's going to end up. That's sort of how I think about it. I try to think of it that way. Sometimes you're maybe more serious and sometimes having more fun with it. Depends what you're playing, what the music requires of you. Some musics you know well enough you could play in your sleep and you can have a lot of fun with them. Uh, and others you may have to make sure that you don't space out. Jazz is, you know, you can always keep growing. You can play it till you're... I was doing a jam session today with a 70-year-old drummer who I play with every week, just for fun. He's a great drummer, and uh, it's just... He's still growing at 70 years old, and that's what I want to do, you know? It's not about money. You want to make a living, but, I mean, it's, it's just a personal growth and way of expressing yourself that you can do for your whole life.
Yeah, it's fun to play. Um, it's challenging. It's, it's very challenging. Um, and like I was saying, uh, once you get your ears around, you know, the music, um, and get get the mechanics of what's on the page out of the way, then you can really start to play.